year is 1994. Arceus created the worst Pokemon trainer to ever exist. Me, Pokemon Cop. Not too much happened over the years. We hit a new millennium, my mum gave me a terrible haircut, and then this happened. Now you can play a part in the ultimate Pokemon battle. <coughs> trainer versus trainer. Pokemon fever hits, and I'm all over it like a rash. Trying to catch them all, collecting them all with my friends, putting in binders, the lot. I start secondary school and I forget about my Pokemon journey. I start going out on my bike, playing football with my friends, and then a few dodgy haircuts later, bang, Pokemon Go hits, and I'm all over it like a rash again. Although at this point, I still haven't got back into the cards, because I'm at university and I'm broke. Fast forward, and I now have a stable job and regular income. Do I invest it? Do I buy a house? No! Nope. COVID-19 hits. I'm stuck at home, Logan Paul does his thing, and Pokemon hits the moon. So I dropped my money on Pokemon. I went for the unlimited version. One, because my pockets aren't that deep. And two, because I don't think we ever got the first edition or the shadowless over in the UK. Someone may be able to correct me on that, but I don't think we did. So I dropped my cash on what I think are some pretty good copies of the Charizard card. Uh, you know, profit. And this happens. Now I'm not here to try and give you advice on investing in Pokemon cards and pretend like I know what I'm doing, because I really don't. But I'm just bringing you the facts that vintage Pokemon cards took a hit after the hype went down. So here we are in 2021, nearly 2022. And the question remains, did I get in too late and did I miss the hype? So current eBay listings for the unlimited Charizard are pretty much you know, roughly around what I paid when I bought it last year. Some are in very good condition, some are looking really good, and some are not so good. Uh, if you keep looking for the next one after this, there's a slight bend in it. It lists it a slight crease, but that puts you down to what a PSA 5 straight away for having a crease in it. This brings us on to graded cards and I'm going to be looking at PSA because they closed, they opened, they closed, they opened and then their prices went through the roof. So looking at the current eBay listings, you can buy a base set unlimited Charizard for around 200 After grading fees, you're looking at about 300 That's if you don't get upcharged. So after looking at some of the recent listings and the recently sold on eBay, you can see that there's a, a massive variation in the grades and the prices. I mean, obviously that's going to happen, but that's the risk that you take when you're grading. You could make a profit or you could make a loss. With the prices at PSA like they are at the moment, the chances are you're probably going to be breaking even or losing money. Unless you find an absolute banger of a card that's going to be getting you a PSA 9, PSA 10 and going to be making your money back. But chances are that's not going to be happening. And that's fine if you're a collector and you're collecting because you like the cards. But if you jumped in during the hype to make money and to profit, then it's not looking good for you at the moment. Modern Pokemon on the other hand is going from strength to strength. But again, is this just people that jumped in during the hype? Or is this, you know, scalpers trying to drive up the demand because they're buying everything out so they can charge what they want? Um, or is it still a valuable investment opportunity for Pokemon fans? Again, I'm not an expert. I'm not here trying to pretend that I know what I'm doing and I'm not trying to give you advice. I'm just trying to show you my sort of one year review of what happened and what happened to the prices. So let me know what you think in the comments, you know, is Pokemon still a viable option? You know, can you still make money here or has Pokemon died after the hype? Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you liked this video, it's something new that I'm trying. If you like my old stuff, I do Pokemon pack openings on my channel, so check that out. Uh, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.